Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. SJ Poor here at Little Face Bro. And I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. I know I am. See what I got sitting right here? What I got sitting right here? Those of you that know, know all about Johnny O's. Right there. Shout out to my brother from another mother, Mark. Cheers to you, my friend. Mmm. 100 proof of whiskey goodness in a glass right there. <laughs> oh, it's all about homebrew, baby. I've also got myself a little bit of a, a, a throwback beer. This is a sour from the 2019 SG Port Challenge. Oh, these together, believe it or not, if you've not had a sour and a uh, whiskey at the same time, then you are not living life to the fullest. I'm just saying, it's a sour whiskey. <laughs> a whiskey sour. Oh, I crank myself up sometimes, but that's not why I'm here right now. I am here to ask you all a question. I want your input. I really do. See, I have been looking to go electric here at Little Face Brewing for years and years and years and years and years. I'm one of those that research, research, research. I like to check things out and uh, have a good idea of what I'm doing before I jump into it. It's just the way I am. It's the way I've always been. So um, I want to get away from gas. One of the big reasons why I want to get away from gas in this room is because of the excess heat that I have from running the burners. Um, I have a 10-inch banjo burner on the uh, brew kettle and a 6-inch banjo on the uh, HLT over here. Now, the 6-inch doesn't throw off quite as much heat as that, that big banjo does, but oh my lord, it gets stoking hot in here. I had run with that window open, this window open, and a lot of times that door open as well, just trying to get the heat out of here. It's so hot. Um, so I'd like to get away from the heat. Uh, I like to get away from the, you know, the, the, the fumes from a, you know, an ignited fire, you know, so um, I'm brewing inside now. I want a system that is designed for brewing inside. I'll, I'll mess with putting a hood up here, you know, that I can collect some of the steam, but that's not been much of an issue. Uh, knock on wood, it's been pretty good so far. Um, but I want to go electric. Um, I'm trying to decide. What kind of electric I want to go with, I'm open to everything. If, if, if something really tickles my fancy, that's what I'm going to go with. I like the all-in-one systems. I am not against an all-in-one system. Um, I, I've, I have tasted some fantastic beer made out of those systems. Um, I do like a three-vessel system, not going to lie. I enjoy brewing on a three-vessel system. It just makes me feel more like um, a commercial brewer. In my little home brewery here. Um, so I, I like that aspect of it. But I also love the ease of a single vessel um, all-in-one system. I've brewed on all-in-one systems. I've brewed on uh, Grandfather. I had was lucky enough to have one for about a year. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Larry Tudor. Um, he let me, when we still had the store, he let me uh, use his for a year. And we brewed some really good beer on that thing. Everything turned out fantastic. What I really like about the grandfather and that style of brewing system is um, Mary can brew on it by herself. She is not intimidated by that system at all. She likes brewing on those. So um, even if I went with a three-vessel electric, I may still try to look for a, a, an all-in-one for her. Um, it's just for brewing ease, you know, so, um, you know, that, that, that's there as well. So I'm familiar with those systems. Um, you know, three vessel systems, you know, I'm, I'm looking at what I don't want to do is I'm not into, uh, I'm, I am a DIY guy. You know, let me start off with that. I mean, I've built all of this and most of this is made out of scrap, you know, that I had laying around stuff that I've acquired, you know, the ceiling is made out of a metal shed. You know, and, and just things like that. I, I am, you know, I, I acquire things for building. Um, so, 
what I don't want to do is I'm not into building a control panel and stuff of that nature. That's not my deal. I'm not into that. I don't mind turning my vessels into my vessels. You know, I can put some holes in these things and, you know, put my burners in and stuff like that. I'm cool with that. You know, so like buying a control panel and all of the workings and then putting it into the system that I currently have. I'm not against that. I'm not against that at all. Um, and, I, and I'm not against, um, you know, all in one. Some of them are sexy. You know, the claw hammer is a beautiful system. Uh, spike systems are beautiful. You know, brew easies are, are, are nice looking systems and stuff. So I'm asking you guys for your uh, input. So you can leave comments below here, which is cool. You can do response videos, which I would love. I would love to see what your system is. Show off your system. Show me what you're brewing on. And tell SJ why I would probably like brewing on your system. You know, I think that would be cool. It would not only help me decide what I'm doing, but it might help other home brewers out there as well. Um, I'm sure they can get a wealth of information off of you guys. So if you wouldn't mind doing that for OSJ, you know, give me your input. A uh, response video would be cool for this. And responses down here are just as good. I'll take your, I'll take your responses if you can find a way to tag me in them. Or you can go right over to, um, if you're on MeWe, look up Homebrew Wednesday Network and you'll see that we have a thing there. You can post them right there. Uh, the reply videos would be cool. You can you can go in there. If not, just shoot me out a message. You know, sh in the comments, say, "Hey, I did a reply video." SJ, check it out, and I'll go there and I'll grab your video and I'll move it to our other social uh, platforms so that other folks can see that as well. So uh, I'm asking for your hope, uh, your help, folks. Let me know what uh, what you think about electric brewing systems and what you prefer. So. Uh, I've already been talking to a lot of folks. Brian out at Short Circuited Brewers has been a huge help for me. He and I talked on Sunday, um, a good portion of through the day, texted back and forth. Um, I sat down and was binge watching some of his videos on his systems. Uh, Mike Dean from the Dean's List, I was, I was picking his brain as well on his system. I, I like what Mike got going on because he has that high gravity controller. So I went on to high gravity and I checked their systems out. And that's where my thought process of, you know, controller and the workings of it, putting it into my system. So I'm looking at Herms, everything. Give me your input, input. Uh, the only thing that I'm not really into is a rim system. I'm not really 100% on those. But a Herms, all-in-ones, just a straight up three vessel, whatever. Let me know your thoughts. I want to know. Help me decide on what I'm going to get because I will be electric this year in this brew house. I gotta get rid of that heat. Summer's just around the corner. I know we're fixing to get another foot of snow tomorrow, but summer is around the corner and brewing in an already hot room when it's hot outside, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Nope, not at all, not at all. Wow, oh, I love me whiskey. Anyways. I am going to sign off with that. This is S.J. Poor at Little Face Brewing. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer. Brew wonderful beer. And help old S.J. figure out what he wants to brew on next. Cheers. I'm going to sneak up here. I'm going to shut you off because I'm an old fat man. Bald. How you doing? <laughs>